Hello everyone, Adam here, and today's been a great day for Final Fantasy VII fans. We got a public demo for the first mission, which was amazing. I have a link for the video of my impressions on the demo, including a video showing Jesse flirt with Cloud, and a non-commentary walkthrough, and of course, people are a little tense that the game may get delayed. I mean, Square Enix is notorious for delaying their projects for years. Kingdom Hearts 3... Final Fantasy Versus 13, which became Final Fantasy 15, and recently Marvel's Adventures was also delayed. So they have a history of delaying their projects, and of course Final Fantasy 7 Remake was going to release originally tomorrow, March 3rd, but was delayed to April 10th because of quality assurance. Well, this article was posted on the subreddit for Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and apparently it's not going to be delayed. So from this website for gamer.net, they talked to Tatsuo Nomura, who is the director for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they said thank you for today. There was a one month postponement, but is development going well for the release on April 10th? And Nomura said yes, it is all alright, we had some time for the last quality improvement, but we already mastered it so there are no further delays. So there you go, the game will make its April 10th release. Remember, this is only for part one of the game. I don't know if they confirmed how many parts this uh, project will have, but they already confirmed part two is in development. And apparently part one will end at the end of Midgar, but we'll see how far they get. But for now, I'm really excited that this game will not be delayed. This article is actually very interesting, and I will leave a link in the description below where you can read it. It is in Japanese, so you have to translate it. I use Google Translate. But it is a fantastic article where Nomoro talks about how this uh, how the project was developed, how they made the decision for live action as opposed to turn based, uh, why, uh, how it is like to develop a game that's more than 20 years old, as you can see here. 20 years have passed since the original release, and the number of people who do not know has also increased considerably. Yeah, I actually got uh, commented on my last reaction video that I spoiled something big about Final Fantasy VII. And one of my viewers commented on that saying this game is over 20 years old. But I assume that person is like 10 or 15, maybe younger. But yeah, this game is old. I mean, I still have my original copy. It's kind of beat up. Like there's a crack right here. But original copy with the disc, I don't want to open it all the way because the disc will fall out. They're kind of loosely in there. But yeah, I have all the original disc. And I'm super excited for this game. I'm trying to open it gently because... I'm trying not to damage this. Physical copies are becoming more and more rare. But yeah, this game is going to be awesome. It's not going to be delayed. However, for every good news, there is also bad news. So I know a lot of you are probably excited to play all the characters within the Final Fantasy VII universe. I mean, we already know we'll be playing as Barret, Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. Unfortunately, we won't be playing as Red Thirteen. So in this interview with video game 24 7 Naiko Hamaguchi who's the co-director for the project well he was asked about Red 13. You are obviously talked a great deal about the existing four party members but I'd like to know if you can tell people what we can expect from Red 13. Obviously in context of when he enters the game he comes in very late so is he going to be the same level of fleshed out as the other cast members or perhaps going to be a guest can you talk about that? Hamaguchi says You've picked up something really good here. Uh, sorry, I'll read it directly. You picked up some really good points here, he laughs. You're exactly right. We felt the point of Red 13 joins the party in the story is very late, so we thought, okay, if we're going to have him as a full character and try and get the player to enjoy his character, development arc and growth as a character through that, it's not really enough time to do that. So we thought at, that the best way to have him involved was a guest character. Normally throughout the game you'll be playing as the three main party, but you will have him as a guest character that fights alongside you during the last part of the story there. He'll be using all of his old nostalgic moves and you'll see that. We felt that, we felt that was the best way of showing him off as a character and who, it, and who he is. That's why we felt that was the best way to include him, which I am disappointed with. I am. I mean, I get this is going to be very late in the game of part one of Final Fantasy VII Remake when we're escaping Midgar, but I would have liked the opportunity to play as him. My guess, 
uh, they haven't finished programming him. Like, you have to program a lot in order to make sure he works well within the mechanics of the game. Perhaps they haven't finished uh, coding him for player interaction and direct input. So they decided to keep him as a side character, or this is entirely true, and they just decided you're not going to have enough time to flesh him out, and it won't be that eventful to take control with him. I seriously doubt that. Whenever a new character comes in the midst, especially a party member, the first thing RPG fans in particular want to do is try that character out, see what moves they can do, what magic attacks they have, or what unique abilities they have if it's a game without magical powers. Either way, uh, I don't know. I'm leaning towards more to that. They haven't finished developing the character in terms of coding him and making sure he's uh, ready to play as. But Red 13 will not be playable. And there is also, I'm going to latch onto this video, some more single servant details from Xenosaga 7, who releases a lot of great Final Fantasy information. So, according to uh, Xenosaga, Nomura confirmed Genesis will not be in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, uh, for those who don't know, Genesis was a first-class soldier and the main antagonist for Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. He kind of wanted—he like uh, like Sephiroth. He felt betrayed for what Shinra did to him, and he wanted to destroy the world. Zack ended up stopping him, but of course, no one knew what Zack did, and Genesis just fades. It's not really confirmed what exactly happens to him, but he's still alive. That is for certain. And here's an, another thing. Nomura confirms that there are options in Cloud's cross-dressing, so Cloud's appearance will look different depending on your choices. Also, Tifa and Aerith have outfits that haven't been shown yet. So there are additional outfits for Tifa and Aerith, and Cloud also has additional outfits. I mean... In the latest previews by uh, Kotaku, IGN, they stated that within the second Marco reactor where you go to blow up with Tifa and Barrett, you can actually choose how you want to fight the upcoming boss battle by choosing what uh, advantages and disadvantages it will have, what weak points it will have, and so on. So they're going to put more options in this game, apparently, even when it comes to cosmetic things like dresses. I wonder if it goes full extent and allow you to just change the character's look. That would be pretty cool. I mean, they did that with Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, where Lightning could change her outfit and they made a big deal about that. Maybe they'll do that here. So there is a lot of great information here. So just to recap, Final Fantasy 7 Remake will make its final release date of April 10th, the first part. Red 13 will not be a playable character in the first parts, but I'm certain he'll be a playable character in part 2, and that'll be something for uh, gamers to really look forward to. And finally, we know that there will be different outfits for Cloud in the cross-dressing scene, including more outfits for Cl uh, Tifa and Aerith, and Genesis is not in... Well, well, she said it's specifically part 1. He's not in part 1, so he could be in part 2 or part 3. You never know, they are rewriting the narrative not entirely but they're adding new parts they may be like a cameo for genesis you never know where you mention zach or something or something either way i'm really excited for this game i have it pre-ordered i know don't pre-order your games but this is something i want to play the second it comes out so what do you think did you like the demo did you play it are you excited for final fantasy 7 also this is actually an interesting question Sound off in the comments below if you played the original Final Fantasy VII or even heard of it. Like, that's something I do want to see. Like, just, like, put a little comment say, yeah, I did play it because it'd be very interesting to see how newcomers will uh, interact and enjoy this game for for without having any prior knowledge of the original copy. And for us oldies who still have our original Final Fantasy VII, yeah, I love this. It's It's mine. Anyway, that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, everyone.